Hi everyone, it's been a very long time since I have made a video. Um, I just wanted to talk about fatigue and this is something that others do not seem to understand and I told somebody I would make a video on it. So I was, I had my CRS and HIPEX surgery in March of 2020 and I am years out and still experience fatigue. And it's important to note that we are all so different. Some people have no fatigue after a few weeks. Commonly, it's six months. And for some people, it is years or a, like a permanent issue. And um, a friend told me that her family doesn't understand. And they basically tell her to get over it. The surgery was years ago. And they don't understand why she's so tired all the time. The body has been through a lot and there have been surgical changes and organs removed and this is for the people that don't understand. Take it from another patient if you're not going to take it from the person that you love that's telling you they're so tired. It's sometimes a permanent thing and it can take years, years, years or may never go away, the fatigue. So please have a little bit of understanding and kindness towards survivors that have been through such a big surgery. And I just want to remind you that they don't just call it CRS and HIPEC. It is dubbed MOAS, the mother of all surgeries. It's very intense. And when your body goes through something like that, on top of all of the mental stuff going on inside a patient's head, you have no idea unless you've been through it. It's really exhausting and it does not help to have your loved ones being very misunderstanding and using it against you. So please be patient with the patients and try to be as helpful and understanding as you can be. And if you can't be that, then maybe you should just stay away for a while or limit your interaction with the patient because it's really unhelpful for a patient to hear those kind of things that you don't understand or to get over it. It's not that simple. Um, believe me, people don't usually just want to lay around and do nothing and feel horrible. It's not a choice. It's something that has happened to us. And um, a lot of patients want to feel like they are welcome here and wanted here after everything they've gone through. And those kind of words are cruel and unhelpful and unkind. So I just wanted to address that in this video. Um, again, my surgery was in 2020 at this point. Um, and it is November 18th, 2023. And my fatigue has actually worsened. And they do not know why. They thought it was anemia. I've had iron infusions. My fatigue has gotten worse to the point of where I'm sleeping all night long. Some days I wake up so tired that I can't even get up and function yet. So I just open the door and let the dogs out. And I go back to bed. And most days I get up and I have my coffee and take care of my pets and a few things and then I crash and I will go take a two, three, four hour nap and then get up and get a little bit done and then crash again and then sleep all night. It's just what I am going through right now and it's really important for a patient to honor what their body is telling them to do. And if that means resting or sleeping, that's what they need to do without feeling guilt over it. So I hope that this video helps by um, by you hearing it from somebody other than your loved one because sometimes people ignore what they're hearing from their loved ones but when they hear it from someone else they're more understanding. So please take all this into account and please try to change the way you're interacting with the, the survivor or the patient. So, and if you're a caregiver and you're just exhausted too, and you don't understand why the patient is still exhausted, then take some time for you. That's always really important. And it is caregiver's month. So do take care of yourself. And um, that's what I wanted to say for today. So thank you everybody. Bye.